Caitlin Clark has proven she can draw lots of eyeballs to basketball games, and the future WNBA star is attracting plenty of attention off the court, too. In September 2023, Clark and Nike dropped a joint Instagram post featuring Clark sporting an all-pink Nike Tech Fleece Windrunner and matching jogger set. The caption read, Before you build something new, you have to break some ground. This is Nike Tech. Clark signed an endorsement deal with the famous footwear and apparel company in October 2022 and has appeared in several ads for the brand, as well as several others. If I can sign with Gatorade, you can too. The feedback on Clark's all-pink ensemble was primarily positive, with fans celebrating Clark for stepping out in the bold color. But there were, of course, a few detractors. One wrote, why is it pink? Caitlyn could not be less of a pink young lady. Women and girls like other colors, like yellow, blue, green, red. A supporter replied, Caitlyn, love this, love the pink. You be you. Silly that people are telling you not to wear pink. Strong woman. On April 3, 2024, the Iowa women's basketball team posted a photo of Clark sitting playfully behind a drum set with sticks in hand. Clark is wearing a casual, long-sleeved black top with sheer sleeves, as well as a $580 Christian Dior Claire de Lune necklace. Fashion content creator and aspiring stylist Michaela Cacho Negret immediately hopped on TikTok to float the theory that Clark might sign an endorsement deal with the designer or even attend the 2024 Met Gala as their guest. She theorized there had to be a story behind the necklace. I've never seen this girl in anything designer, like, in her entire life. And she just pulls up to, like, a casual dinner with this Christian Dior necklace. On April 12th, Clark received her second John R. Wooden Award, which is given to the most outstanding college basketball players in the country. She was sure to thank her teammates. I think the biggest thing is just, like, how fortunate and lucky I am. Like, these awards never get old. But it wasn't just the hardware that stole the attention. At the ceremony, Clark dazzled in a red satin wrap dress. Clark tied the look together with a pair of pointy-toed white high heels. She scored some points for her choice of a closed-toe shoe. One commenter wrote, My closed-toe preference is mainly due to my long torso, short leg composition. Do not know if Caitlyn has the same issue, but this is a good look. Clark caused quite the ruckus with her April 13th Saturday Night Live debut. You make a lot of jokes about women's sports, don't you, Michael? Her playful roast of comedian Michael Che had everyone talking, but so did her jacket, an all-black letterman jacket with an N on it. The letter had some wondering why she was wearing a Nebraska jacket, but the N stood for Nike, and according to Nike's official website, the jacket retails for a cool $550. Clark was later spotted heading into the SNL after party, wearing a cream-color knit Gucci shirt with wide-leg black pants and black and white Nikes. Clark arrived at the 2024 WNBA draft in style, sporting head-to-toe Prada, including a silver rhinestone crop top, white satin jacket and miniskirt set, black mini bag, acetate sunnies, and a pair of black slingbacks to boot. Tell us about this outfit. Yeah, so all Prada. Prada's never dressed anybody for the NBA or WNBA draft. Oh. Business Insider estimated the total price of Clark's draft duds rings to be an eye-popping $16,875, which is roughly 22% of her estimated first-year WNBA annual salary. Fortunately for Clark, it doesn't appear she actually had to cough up the cash. Her stylist for the evening, Adri Zagurdia, told Marie Claire, Dressing an athlete for the draft is a first for Prada, and this is obviously a first for Caitlyn, too. Both are at the forefront of what they do. It's almost too perfect. 